All right, so I'm going to do some more proofs of trig identities here. Now, there are literally hundreds of trig identities, hundreds of things where you can equate this side to this side, and then you can prove them. You can prove them using the Pythagorean identity, using your angle sum and difference identities, using your double angle identities. Um, the key here is just to give it a crack and try to make the left-hand side look like the right-hand side. That's it. Now, when it comes to proofs, remember, it's a very straightforward game. You want the left-hand side to look like the right-hand side. If you can make one side look like the other side, you've won the game. So, uh, I'm going to work with the left-hand side. So, I'm going to say left-hand side equals, and I'll rewrite the whole thing out again because I'm not lazy. Uh, now, cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now, search your brain. Angle identities, uh, double double angle identities, angle sum, angle difference. What can you see here? Well, I can see 2 sine theta cos theta. And if I refer to my formula sheet, I will know that this is the double angle identity for sine. So the numerator here is going to be sine 2 theta. Now, what about the bottom here? Cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Isn't that a double angle identity? Uh, it's cos 2 theta. So that's a double angle identity which results in that. That's a double angle identity that results in that. And sine 2 theta over cos 2 theta is equal to tan 2 theta. Now, that means that the left hand side equals the right hand side. Tick, proven, happy days. So uh, it looks really complicated here, but I've got two angle identities, two double angle identities sitting on my formula sheet. I refer to them, I look for them, I find them, I substitute them, and prove them. So I have a second identity here, and I'm going to try to prove this. Now, remember, the game is always the same. You want to make the left-hand side look like the right-hand side. Now, uh, I'm going to start working on the left-hand side because I can see that this is a single fraction. This is two fractions, so I'm going to try to sort of condense them into one. Now, you might want to pause the video and try it, get started. Now, your proof might not be the same as my proof, but as long as your left-hand side equals your right-hand side when you're finished with it, then you're fine. All right, so I've just rewritten my left-hand side here, so it's identical, not lazy, I want to get that done. Now, to put them into one, I'm going to multiply the denominators together, so that'll be sine beta cos beta, and then I'm going to multiply this by this, which will give me sine theta cos beta, and then I'm going to multiply uh, this by this, which will give me uh, cos theta times sine beta. Okay, now let's just take a little look at where we're headed. We're headed there, right? Uh, 2 sine theta plus b, that's like an angle sum identity. This does look a lot like an angle sum identity. Let's just refer to our formula sheet and see if we can find an angle sum identity that that lines up with. Well, it turns out that that is the angle sum identity for sine, so I can rewrite this top line as sine uh, theta plus beta. Um, now, there's a 2 there, but it hasn't appeared yet. Uh, let's keep going. The denominator, sine beta cos beta. Now, where have we seen sine beta cos beta before? We've seen that in, like, some sort of double angle identity, right? Because we can say that um, sine 2 beta is equal to uh, 2 sine beta cos beta. Now, wait a minute. That is pretty good because that's what that looks like. But then there's this 2 there. So if I know this double angle identity and I want to apply it to that, I could divide both sides by 2 of my, of my double angle identity and say that sine 2 beta divided by 2 is equal to sine beta cos beta. Now, another way to write divided by 2 might be to write 1 half. Okay, so I can replace sine beta cos beta with half sine 2 beta. Now, 
if I've got this little fraction on the bottom, you can see I'm getting pretty close here. I've just got this fraction. If I'm dividing by a half, that's the same as multiplying by 2, which gives me 2 sine theta plus beta over sine 2 beta. That means that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side tick. 2 sine theta plus beta, 2 sine theta plus beta, sine 2 beta, sine 2 beta. Haven't broken any rules. I've used maybe three trig identities, and it is proven. All right, things are getting pretty hectic now. We're trying to prove that all of that is equal to that. And you can see some familiar ideas here, cos theta plus sine theta. Uh, you can see uh, a double angle sitting in there. So that gives us some hints that we, there might be some double angle identities. There might be, uh, depending on what happens when we multiply these together to push it into one term, uh, we might end up with a Pythagorean identity perhaps, maybe an uh, uh, angle sum. Um, now, in previous proofs, I've just moved through the left-hand side until it looked like the right-hand side. But given these both look quite complicated, I'll work on this one until I feel like it's simplified. I might work on this one until I feel like that's simplified. And then I'll look at both of them and see if I can get either one of them close to where they should be. So you can see I've got my left-hand side written out here. I've got my right-hand side written out here. And I can jump from one to the other until I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Now, if I want to push these together, uh, the easiest way to do it is obviously to multiply those denominators by each other. So, if I multiply that by that, I'm going to get a denominator of cos squared theta, so this times this, cos squared theta. I'm going to get another one of negative sine squared theta. And in the middle, I'm going to get um, cos theta times sine theta, negative sine theta times cos theta. Mm, they're going to cancel each other out. So... That means that the denominator is just cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now, what happened up the top? I took this and multiplied it by this, which gives me uh, cos theta minus sine theta. I took this and multiplied it by this, which gave me uh, cos theta plus sine theta. And I can see uh, negative sine theta, positive sine theta, they're going to cancel each other out. I can see two cos thetas there. So I can say that two cos theta um, over cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Cos squared theta minus sine squared theta looks really familiar. Um, some sort of double angle identity, perhaps? Yep, I referred to my formula sheet. It is the double angle identity for uh, cosine. So cos 2 theta minus sine 2 theta is uh, cos, sorry, cos squared theta is cos 2 theta. So I've taken this and moved it all the way down to cos theta over cos 2 theta. Uh, feel kind of stuck. Um, so... I guess I could, like, if I expand that again, I'd just end up back here, and I'd just go around in circles. That looks like maybe it. Uh, I don't know. We'll work on it some more in a minute. Uh, what about this side here? So, tan 2 theta, uh, cosec theta. Cosec theta makes me uncomfortable. Um, so, let's rewrite it as tan 2 theta times 1 over sine theta. Um, now... This has no tan in it at all. Uh, so tan 2 theta, let's try writing it as uh, sine 2 theta over cos 2 theta. And we're going to multiply that by sine theta. All right, so now I can um, smush that together. Uh, so I get cos 2 theta sine theta over sine 2 theta. Um, oh, man. Sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta, and then there's this weird, like, sine theta over there. Um, I might need to, like, refer to my formula sheet, see if I can find an identity that's going to help me out here. 
you know, I don't, I don't, find, I couldn't find an identity that these fit into neatly. So let's re-examine because the proof started out as this, and I was trying to prove that that's equal to that. And now that I'm down to here, I I'm essentially trying to prove that that is equal to that. So how similar are they? fairly similar. There's a cos 2 theta on the bottom there, there's a cos 2 theta on the bottom there, and then there's a sine theta there. So why don't I move back to working on the left hand side and multiply both sides, by well, top, sorry, top and bottom, by sine theta. Because if I multiply top and bottom by sine theta, at least my numerator will be the same. I get cos 2 theta sine theta equals 2 cos theta sine theta. So how close are we? We've got the same denominators. Uh, we've got sine 2 theta here and cos 2 theta sine theta here. That's a double angle. That looks promising. Let's check my formula sheet and see if sine 2 theta and 2 cos theta sine theta are related to each other. They are related to each other. Turns out that 2 cos theta sine theta is the double angle identity of sine 2 theta. So I can um, work on either side here. I just need to make that side look like that side. So um, because I've got more space here, let's do it over here. Uh, I'll just replace sine 2 theta with the double angle identity, which is 2 cos theta sine theta. You can check your formula sheet. And cos 2 theta sine theta here. The left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Tick, tick, tick. Proven. Proven. Little celebration there. All right, so a couple of things to note here. Um, work down the left-hand side until you feel like you've, you're stopping. Work down the right-hand side until like you're running out of steam. And then you can compare both sides and see if there's something you can do to make either the denominator or the numerator sort of look the same. Um, this is, there are other ways to do this. You could have gone down a different path and and proven this, but this is the path that I've gone down. Uh, these sorts of proofs are a uh, creative pursuit, but you use the knowledge you're given and then work from there.